Welcome back, paranormal enthusiasts, to a place that has haunted my dreams and chilled my bones. Burnt Bridge. I've journeyed here once again, all alone, leaving the safety of my friends and the Pokemon Ranch behind. This place has a history steeped in tragedy and darkness. And tonight, I captured something on my camera that sent shivers down my spine. A bone-chilling growl that defies explanation. Is it the voice of the paranormal? A restless spirit? Or something far more sinister? In a moment, I'm going to share that spine-tingling audio with you. But beware, it may haunt your dreams. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn off the lights, and prepare for the unknown. Join me in this investigation at Burnt Bridge. My name is Chris Baird, and the real terror begins now. Yeah, I don't know, something's just kind of told me that I should walk to the bridge. Um, Burnt Bridge, if you guys don't know. It's uh, super creepy, super haunted, and I actually have to walk all the way through the woods by myself to get there. Um, I will be completely honest with you guys, uh, John is at the, like, at the road down there, so um, maybe that makes it less creepy, sure, but I don't really care. I don't feel great. I kind of have a cold, and the fact that I'm doing this by myself is good enough for me, so I'm actually uh, going to open up Spirit Talker right now as I walk. Dun, dun, dun. My phone in sleep mode, no distractions, no disruptions. Yeah, so... Spirit Talker is open, everybody, and we're going to keep walking. Also, just want to thank you all so much for all the love and support lately. It's been really good, so videos have been doing good. It's been very motivating, I guess, you know? I know it's hard to be selfish and be like, oh, they don't get good views, you know, it bothers me, but it really is kind of demotivating when you put a lot of work in and you don't get a lot of views. So, views have been good, everything's been good, and uh, yeah, life's been good lately, so. Where we are right now walking down here into the woods yeah I don't know if you all like woods videos or not but I personally don't love it so I just don't love being out here by myself it kind of sucks about it but Did I hear that hello is there anybody out here just want to introduce myself my name is Chris if there's any actual spirits or entities here um, I do tend to work here a lot on this property sounds like whispers bunch more light on all right y'all need to see this there's an actual leaf floating. What the f That is insane. I've literally never seen anything like that before. How is a leaf just floating like that? I don't know if y'all can explain that somehow. Please let me know. Because I'm actually like dumbfounded right now. But. Megaphonic. Spirit Talker. Excuse me. Back out. Um, yeah, I do think that this place is haunted, 100%. I know that that's just a leaf, but that's creepy, so <laughs> that's not the only reason. You know, we have so many experiences here all the time that make me believe that, so. I'm not playing games. All right, Spirit so Talker just said I'm not playing games. Well, I didn't say anything mean or do anything wrong. There's no need to play games. We can just talk, be adults. It is creepy back here. I don't care what anyone says, but you see this tree right here. This tree right here is interesting to me because I really feel like, I don't know, based on the age of it, maybe 50 years, 100 years, people probably used to sit under that tree, you know? It was probably like a good spot for them to just kind of sit and relax and just good, it's good shade in the summertime. You gotta think when air conditioning wasn't really a big thing. People had to have somewhere to cool off and chill out. So I don't know. I was just thinking about stuff like that. Like look at all the trees around here. This place is so crazy. It's beautiful too. Don't get me wrong, but these spirits sound kind of angry. You said that you're not going to play games. So is it bothering you that I'm uh, here trying to talk to you? If you guys can hear me, please let me know. This is actually like the creepiest part for me because I come in here all the time. What do they blame me for? Can you tell me that? 
what happened that you got blamed for something? Did you do a crime or commit something? Felony? Murder? Y'all getting the full tour today. Full walk to the bridge, but maybe we'll do a little. I've been watching you. You've been watching me. See, that's how I feel whenever I'm down here. And that's no lie, guys. Whenever I come down here, because I mow the grass here. You know, the grass needs to be mowed throughout the woods. Um, it always feels really weird. This is always the worst spot for me to mow. I don't know why. I can never explain it. Never have a really good reason for it. But, who trail cam scared me. Why well, have you been watching me? Are you uh, bothered that I'm here? Do you not like me being here? If there's anything you can tell me about that, please let me know. All right, y'all. Did you hear that or no? Who just made that noise? Can, uh, can you tell me who that was? Argument. Is that what I just heard? Did I hear somebody arguing in the woods? What are you guys arguing about? Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe we could talk it out? Yo, there's eyes right there. What the f***? Y'all see that? I hope and pray you guys saw those eyes. You can see them. Oh my god. Be careful in here. <laughs> oh my god. Alright y'all, I'm gonna try to get to the bridge. I don't wanna get injured. Can you please not hurt me? I know you just warned me to be careful, but I'm literally just trying to walk through so I can get to the bridge. Like I said you guys, John is down here as well. So that sounded like a footstep. I'm not trying to be ridiculous. I know that for a fact there are deer that hang out in here. So those eyes could have been deer, without a doubt. But a little bit weird, a little bit unsettling sometimes to, I don't know, just <laughs> the thought of animals watching you from far away. They can see me, I can't see them kind of thing, you know? I'm gonna try to get to the bridge right now. We'll try to do like a spirit box on the bridge. You know, you guys probably think I'm crazy because I'm always turning around and stuff, but paranoia tends to set in sometimes when <laughs> you know there's animals around, but you don't know where they are, don't know, don't know what their motives are either, so. All right, I just made it out of there. Am I safe now? Can you guys confirm that for me? Do I have anything to worry about? Something's running around in there. Visual. Is it my lights you see that you don't like maybe? You want me to turn my lights off? I can definitely do that. See John sitting up there guys. I told y'all he's here. He's keeping an eye on just people coming back. Cause a lot of times we, maybe we forget, but we announce that we're like going here to the bridge or whatever and <laughs> makes it, um, it's just bad because people know where the bridge is now. So sometimes people do come here and try to mess with us and do dumb stuff. So please don't ever do that. Please don't mess with us. Sorry, I'm not turning the camera around right now either. Um, so I'll do it when I get to the bridge. I just want to get here first, but... The uh, app hasn't gone off at all. I don't know what's going on. Still going. It just hasn't said anything. It's been quiet. I like something just breathed really loud over there. That's okay. That is okay. Call out. I'm gonna call out. My name is Chris. Just wanna say hello. I'm just walking to the bridge. If there's any spirits in the house that wanna come talk to me while I'm on the bridge, please feel free. We'll go check in with John really quick too. What's up, John? How you doing, man? What's up? Huh? You good? I'm good. 
checking in. Yeah, I just broke the window up, so it's getting nice. chilly in here. Yeah, it's kind of cold, isn't it? You hear anything weird or anything? Or? Just said poltergeist. No, I don't like that. I don't like Sorry that at all. Sorry if I scared you. Sorry if I scared you. I heard some weird stuff in the woods, too. Yeah. I kind of ran through quick. Well, I had both these windows down, and it kind of started getting cold in here, and I keep hearing all that dropping sound. I don't know if it's something walking around or what. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Kind of strange, isn't it? So yeah, it's definitely, um, I'm not going to say what's been happening. It's kind of more personal, but, um, John, you've been having some weird stuff happen at your house. We've, yeah, I've we've, been, man, I've heard all this more, and it's just weird. Yup. Just weird experiences. Patience. Patience. Yeah, crazy dreams. <laughs> He's been having weird dreams. I've had some weird dreams too, now that you mention it. But, um, yeah, CJ and I, I live with CJ right now. I'm in one of his bedrooms in his house, and, uh, yeah, we both have had weird experiences. Things moved in our rooms at separate times. We came home last night and um, essentially the blinds were, were shut and we didn't do it. We know we didn't do it. Yeah. Cameras on in the house, no one, we didn't do it. We can prove it, you know? And it's just weird. We've had a lot of weird stuff and I don't know if it's related to this place. I do think that, um, as you know, we gave David and Becky the doll. I think it had something to do with giving them the doll. I really do. Exactly, you're so right. Like whenever you start shaking things up or just changing things, it gets upset all the time. So I don't know what you guys think, but definitely let us know in the comments if you have any weird experiences. Also, it's it's kind of cool. Like sometimes CJ leaves warnings, like you know, be careful watching this because it might follow you. And I think that stuff does happen to people too through experiences through the TV. Like, do you believe in that stuff? Yeah. It's very possible that like maybe just opening yourself up, you know, makes it kind of happen and or ramp up in your own house. I don't know. We just had a lot of weird stuff happen that I can't explain. But I know you you told me a story on the way here that you saw some weird animals on the way <laughs> up here. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. I've traveled this road almost every day for the last four years. And yep. I've never seen either one before. Just weird, unique animals that you would probably only see in your dream or I, I don't know. It's just kind of odd. But I just wanted to share. By itself. Weird. Should not have happened. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll. <laughs> argument what's that <laughs> yeah i just had it says it's been all around me has it yeah well you're kind of in front of this house too that's by the road which is a little bit weird i don't know i i heard some weird stuff in the woods the spirit talker was pretty accurate i just decided that i'm gonna walk to the bridge because dylan's in the woods and cj's in the house so i'm gonna head over to the bridge right now and try to do a little spirit yeah, box see if anything comes through down there. i went down there turned around and down the there is nothing there nobody nothing, nothing. it's weird I hope nobody comes down. If you hear me yelling, come save me. <laughs> I appreciate you, John. Pay attention for sure. But yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna go try to get some some answers and stuff. I don't know. See what happens. So, Whew. yeah, very grateful for John. John is such a good person. He is always so nice to us, and always just comes and sits and just you know security helps us out. We we thank him so much because yeah, it's like a comfort thing. Just being so far from anyone essentially there's not really any houses there's nothing really down here you know this is such a desolate area like that one time we had to call the police 25 minutes again it's not it's not a fault of the police they just they're far away we're on the outskirts of town and yeah it just is what it is so stuff does happen out here you're kind of on your own so whoo burn bridge everybody good old burn bridge i feel like everybody likes burn bridge This land is cursed. I do believe that. And I don't know if curse has a touch of like a negative context to it, but I do think that there are energies and spirits and entities, things here that will probably be here forever, honestly. Um, I just think that all the bad stuff that's happened from the wars and the battles and just, you know, taking of the land from, from you know, culture to culture back in the day, just... It really changes things. It leaves a negative, again, I said maybe it's not negative, but it does leave like a negative impression on the land and just the people and everything else around here. That's a reflector, I think, but it's hard for me to think that there's not a lot of like negativity and bad juju essentially, you know? When people lose their land and get killed on their own land that they've been on for hundreds of years, it's hard to leave a positive memory or impression of that, right? You were 80. 
Were you living in the house by the road or where were you? Did you tell me that? Very fascinated. So yeah, y'all. Out here on Burnt Bridge right now, the water is high. Holy cow. Something jumped in the water. Try to get this brightened up a little bit so y'all can see out here, but yeah, this is the land out here. It's very cool. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Burnt Bridge. Um, obviously some really weird history. Really weird things happen all the time out here, but if it ain't beautiful, you know, it's a good little spot, but Turn my light down a little bit here, sorry about that. I'd like y'all to be able to see me and hear me. Woo, too bright, too bright, hang on, sorry. <laughs> there we go. So I have my phone out. I'm gonna leave my phone right there for a little bit. Hoping for no one calls and it falls off in the water, but yeah, I'm gonna set up my REM pod. My wish.com REM pod that I got on ebay or whatever very simple you know you turn it on you set it down touch it it goes off nothing too crazy so if that goes off you know something's over there it doesn't just go off by itself my name is walter i just got the name walter so what's going on walter my name is chris just want to thank you for being here tonight Whatever is here, I just really just want to try to get answers and communicate. I don't mean any harm. I'm not trying to summon anything. I'm trying to do anything weird. Did you hear that? It's like somebody was walking in the road. I am on a public bridge, so I mean, there's always a possibility that somebody could come out here as well. So um, if I do put my camera down or something, just so you guys know. Um, that would be why. Just like to let people know also that I'm here. I don't want to get like run over or anything, you know. Is there anybody here with me tonight that wants to talk to me? Please, uh, I know Walter's here. But any other spirits, entities, feel free to come introduce yourselves. Again, my name is Chris. Getting out my little communication device right now. I'm struggling to get the antenna up. There we go. I taste it funny. Just want to listen for a second. I know you guys probably get sick of me saying it, but if you do see or hear anything that I miss, don't point out in the video, please let me know. We do miss things sometimes, it is hard to capture everything. You look familiar. If I look familiar, it's because I've definitely been here before. Again, I work across the street here. Um, come out here a lot for work. I've also been out here fishing up a whole bunch. I mean, if you're, if you're uh, familiar with Burnt Bridge, you ever drive by or anything, you've probably seen me out here. If there's any entities out here, could you try to make a noise? And I'm not talking about anything light. I want to hear you bang on a tree, throw a rock, <coughs> something in the road. Just do something to let me know you're here. That sounded like, like someone over there, almost like a knock. And then I heard a couple drips. Did you bang on the bridge for me? Do a little something more to let me know that you're here right now. Joanna. What's going on, Joanna? Thanks for telling me your name. I do appreciate that. Box. 
Send it here. Send it to me. All the time. Well, I wouldn't have done that. So you called him? Can anybody say my name? So I can see who's here. I got told you my name's Chris. No chance of I have no chance of what? Communicating? How do you guys feel about me being here tonight? Do you want me to leave? That's what I left. Could you come back for a minute and talk to me? Is it Christopher? I just said the name of CJ's relatives I was here the other day. That was kind of weird. <laughs> I just want whoever's here to talk to me. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So what are you operating? Holding a video camera that records the audio and the video of what I'm looking at, so. That was weird. Children, are there children here? Are they playing on the bridge right now? They are. Country. We are in the country. That's for sure. I got this on radio. Death? How much death was here on the bridge? Tell Chris what? Someone just said tell Chris something. What were you trying to say? Want to hurt you? Why do you want to hurt me? I've truly done nothing to you guys. I'm just trying to talk. Am I disrupting you? You're not yelling. I feel like this thing's really active right now. Said so. My friend CJ is in the house right now. So we know. I hate him. Those, that was clear. That was very clearly something talking. Cause it was the same voice talking over the same radio station. Or the same, uh, different channel. You can't talk? Y'all can say whatever you want. I'm here to listen. Eden. I like Spanish, maybe. There's Spanish speaking people here. Hola, ¿cómo estás? That's all I really know, guys, sir. There's consequences. We need some Spanish, for sure. What are the consequences for? Do you not want me talking to you? Or is it bad that I open myself up to you guys? <clears throat> I do apologize too, guys. I know it's kind of hard sometimes with the spirit box that I have now. Um, 
I try to keep obviously asking questions. There's that voice again. You hear that? Just trying to say that it's hard with the spirit box I have. I'm trying to like use and get used to it. That loud voice, but um, I try to ask questions and listen for answers and kind of keep asking questions that are relevant to what I'm hearing in the spirit box. So I know I'm jumping around a little bit. And I do apologize about that. It is hard to, again, keep like a good constant communication. There's so much stuff coming through that you got to listen through and block out a lot of radio chatter. But I like how clear that is. So that's why I like to use it. So sometimes I'm just, I just like don't say anything and listen. I try to pick up little things. So make sure you guys try to help out with the story. Tell me what you hear. Tell me what you're not hearing. Tell me if I'm saying stuff wrong or hearing things wrong. I want to know. I'm trying to get better at this for sure. I'm not trying to get worse, you know? Is there anything you guys want me to know? About the bridge or about you? So, I want you to die? Are there any good spirits here on the bridge tonight? Is everything bad? Go away. <laughs> Where do I stand right in the middle of the bridge? <gasps> I laughed really creepily and said the spirits don't. Spirits don't care maybe? Where should I go next? Can you guys tell me that? Should I go back to the house? Should I go down to the trail? Down that way? Someone just covered my light. Do you guys see that shadow move? Somebody just walk in front of my light? That was Sarah? Is that what that said? It was Sarah. <coughs> oh my God, it was Sarah. Hang on a sec. Y'all remember Sarah? Sarah's the name that. Skinwalkers around. <gasps> what the fuck was that noise? Did you just hear that? Are there skinwalkers around me right now? Do they not want me here? Is what I need to know. Because if they don't want me here, I'll leave. I respect every and all being. Nancy. You just said skinwalkers are here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do I need to leave? Am I in danger? Guys, okay, Sarah is the name of the doll. That's what we think. As you all remember, we gave the doll to our friends, David and Becky. Um, she said she wanted the doll, the red doll that's been in the house forever. Everybody was like, you can't give that doll away. It's been there forever. She said she'd give it back if we wanted it back. At this point, I think I'm good. She can keep it. But we think the activity is ramped up because of the doll being gone, you know? But um, she's gotten the name Sarah when she's investigated with the doll numerous times. She's gotten that name Sarah. I just got the name Sarah twice, like back to back. Sarah's standing beside me right now. Whenever I hear stuff like that, I get the instant like cold chills and I feel cold. I always like feel like it could be paranormal, but it's probably just me being paranoid thinking that something actually is standing behind me or next to me. It's very possible too, but yeah, that name's Sarah again. I, I think it that might be the name of the doll. And I was saying it maybe in one of my videos, but they say that spirits attach to dolls because dolls are so similar to people, human beings. They feel most comfortable with that, so they'll attach to a doll, and that's that's why they'll you know be attached. And why, that's why dolls are haunted. That's why you know you see psychic mediums and people on the internet and TikTok they have these haunted dolls and I truly am starting to believe that that might actually be a thing you know they've been playing games I said quit playing games when I start remember that but yeah the haunted doll thing is so interesting to me so I don't know just want to bring that up to you guys the name Sarah I think the name Sarah could have been the red doll and maybe we'll have to get her back one day I don't know I'm gonna have to ask Becky to give us the doll back but the doll has definitely stirred things up at the Pokemon Ranch so I just want to know if any of the spirits have some power. I want you to show me how powerful you are. 
I have this little experiment I'm trying to do to see if you're actually real. If you're actually here with me tonight, I need you to come over to this device I'm pointing at. Right here, you can see me. I'm pointing to this device. Come over and touch it. It'll make a noise like that. That'll simply confirm that you're here with me tonight. I'm not talking to myself. I'm even going to take my phone. I'm going to go across the bridge right now. I'm going to go to the other side of the bridge. I'm going to let you try to touch that device. You said you're playing games. Well, I want to play games too. I can literally said I'm playing games. Play a game with me. Touch that device. Whoa. You hear that in the woods? You hear the tree branch cracking? It almost sounds like snapping. Yes, I did. You did that noise? That was you? Alright, well, that's super cool. Appreciate that. But I still want you to go over and touch my device because that's going to be the ultimate proof that you are here right now. And I'm not just hanging out by myself. Just go over and touch it one time. Make that go off and I'll, I'll leave. I'll head back towards the house and I'll go investigate the woods or go somewhere else. I promise. There are some noises out in the woods over there, guys. It is loud. It sounds like walking and then I hear some things like almost branches breaking maybe. I don't think there's any animals that big. That <laughs> it's twice now I've gotten this. It keeps confirming it. I said yes I... I said I guess I did and I said I made that sound. Well, can you do it again? Can you make a louder sound? Or touch my device or do something? If you guys really don't want me here, you'll scare me. I don't have to leave, because I'll be so scared. So that's all on you spirits. Cards in your hands. Go down. Okay. Said so go down. I mean, can you be a little more specific? Are you talking about going down there? Does that mean like go to hell? I'm going to go under the bridge. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I just did it again. That sounded a little bit more exotic. Yeah, I can definitely hear your sounds. That's that's cool. You all are... <laughs> They're getting louder for sure. There's no doubt these sounds are getting louder. But you still have not touched my device on the bridge. My name is Emily. What's up, Emily? I'm Chris. Just here to talk to you. Are you one of the unfortunate people who didn't make it from an incident that happened here on the bridge? Can you tell me how long you've been here? And are you stuck here? <coughs> Excuse me. I got a tickle in my throat. Damn me, I'll hate to do this right now. But I gotta swap my battery out, so gonna record my phone for a second sorry everybody pausing this just had to let you know that i'm swapping my battery out my camera I'm trying to do this now in all the videos just so everybody can see that i'm not like doing any, like weird cuts or anything you know i'm literally just like here changing my batteries out um trying to try to do that every video i'm gonna try to do like less cuts in the videos just keep them as raw and uncut as i possibly can you know i'm still here on the bridge, Dylan and CJ. CJ's at the house, I think Dylan's in the woods. Um, but my camera battery lasts like maybe 30 minutes tops, so I have to change these things a lot, unfortunately. Hello? Did somebody just knock on something? 
Very creepy. Very, very creepy tonight. See, I already regret this because now I have to walk back down the trail, back to the house, through the woods, by myself. Kind of wish I didn't decide to do that. But someone just told me to do it tonight because it was going to be good. And it has been good. I've had a lot of activity so far. As soon as the red light comes on, guys, I'm going to go back to my camera. Camera. There we are. Right. Just heard a loud bang. Somebody just make a bang? Make a loud noise? Definitely heard it. If y'all don't want to touch my device over there, take it and throw in the water. Take it and knock it off that bridge. Feel free. I won't even be mad about it. 30 bucks, but you know what? I'll get another one if I have to. Somebody just tap on the bridge? What was that? Did you guys hear that? It literally sounded like someone kicked or, I don't know, like made a noise, like tapped on the bridge. That like metal, like ding. I have my, my microphone on, so I'm hoping that it's picking up all this stuff so you guys can hear it too. So as you guys know, in the video I did with my friends David and Becky at the house, we got the name Dylan a lot. And um, I wanna know from the spirits as well. You know, Dylan's here on the property tonight. Seems like you spirits really love Dylan. So are you guys happy that Dylan's actually here right now? Are you guys enjoying him being on the property? He's actually in the woods. Do you like him being in the woods? I'm actually gonna open up Necrometer right now for something a little different. See what comes through. Y'all wanna talk to me, please? Neuron? I don't know what that was. Turn that off, that was really loud, it's hard to hear. It says you will live, which is reassuring that I'm gonna live, so thank you to whoever decided that I'm not gonna die. I really appreciate you. Really nice, thank you so much. Bravo. Would you like any of my other friends to come out on the bridge after I leave? Would that make you happy? If I'm gonna live, does that mean somebody's gonna die? Disposure. Disposure. That computer's always got some big words coming out, so if y'all know what these words mean, please let me know. What's up, Gerald? Guys, I'm gonna start heading back here in a minute, but for some reason the spirits don't wanna play with my devices tonight. And that's okay. One last chance if you wanna touch that. Who's in the woods right now? Is there actually a person in the woods or am I just hearing things? Taking my device back. Taking this device back. I do apologize y'all. I, I, I thought I had more batteries with me, but I don't. So all of a sudden I'm going back to the car and get more and we'll film probably in the woods or something a little bit because I've been wanting to go back into the woods over near the big tree. I haven't been there in a while to film. Do y'all have anything else to say to me before I go? Besides coolness is... I swear to God they're making up words. Are you spirits like making up your own language or something? What is coolness is? 
<coughs> Excuse me again, I'm sorry. Woman. Woman. I had a woman named Emily over here before. So, is that spirit still with me or am I talking to somebody else? And again, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna leave right now, so. If there's anything else you wanna say to me, say it now or may forever hold your peace. I actually have a lot of magnetic interference right now too. You can see that at the top right there. It's really interesting. Maybe there actually is something here right now with us. My shoulders just started hurting too. That was kind of strange. I love shoulders like, like throbbing right now. Somebody messing with me? Someone touching my shoulder? Cause I can feel that. Dark magic. You performing dark magic on me? Cause I don't see ya. I definitely don't see anybody here. Could you please leave my shoulder alone? That'd be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Holy. Holy. Holy, my camera won't focus. Provincialism. All right, see these words I'm talking about? I don't know what the hell that means. Like, what are we doing here? Be quiet and listen. Okay. Sounds good. Don't really know what the f that was. I just heard whoever was over there. That gave me that gave me bad vibe. I didn't didn't like that at all. It's really not said a single thing since that. I'm gonna take off now, so I'm gonna start heading back to the house. Hope that's all right with you. The number one. The number one. I actually got that the other night too. I was talking to David about that. How um, some people believe that demonic um, entities or evil entities will sometimes go by a number and not a name. But I really don't want to deal with anything evil. I'm, I'm good. I'm not here for that tonight. I'm trying to have some real solid communication with solid spirits. So I ask anything bad or evil, any kind of spirit, please stay here at the bridge. Do not follow us. I don't want any attachments. Nothing is allowed to follow me home. If you're going to follow me back to the house, that's fine, but not to my home. So foggy this night, too. It is just very creepy. Everything about tonight has been bit strange. We'll go check in with John again really quick as we head back to the house. Vision. I'm talking about the fog. Yeah, the vision is, is rough and it's hard to see. It's very hard to see. Dingoes. Dingoes. Dingoes ate my baby. I don't know where that came from, but I always remember that as a kid. He <laughs> said, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have dingoes here in America. But you know what? I could be wrong. Are there any dingoes here right now? Is that a code name for something? Oh, I can smell the house. It is so weird. I also saw CJ's video. We're pretty sure that there's people in the house. That's how they're getting there. Oh, I said I locked my phone again. I keep doing that. Vision. <laughs> We're in danger. Did you tell me why I'm in danger? I'd love to know. Is it because I went to the bridge by myself? Brandy. Brandy. Sounds like some alcoholics. Who? How's it been over here, John? Well, I'm sitting here listening. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I heard you talking I way down there. Years. Way down there. Really? Yeah. This it's been it's been a good 10-15 minutes. Yeah, buying for a little bit. 
And just recently it said, I'm in the house. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I mean, I heard some weird stuff too. And it, yeah. this, I was using, using the necker meter and I said, stop so and I'm listen. Saying said stop and listen at one point and I stopped and I listened and I got freaked out and I left from what I heard I don't know something in the woods moved it's not like it was coming towards me just oh, yeah. it got dark really quick that the answers and the spirits sound like they just changed their their tone so mm -hmm. I was like I'm good I'm gonna head back to the car I think advisor it's so dark out here tonight but you look at you can see all the stars it is yeah I don't know if dark y'all can see that probably not but the stars are out right now is that murder and even sitting this <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even though it's so like dark, it's bright right now. This just says coroner. All right, let's let's take a break for a second. <laughs> Some weird answers coming through, but it's crazy. it is getting crazy. I know. Like, I know we're gonna film for a couple more hours, but I'm gonna probably set my tent up soon because I just want to get that over with. So I'm ready to sleep. I'm going to sleep. It wasn't Did like you? the one I've heard before. It was just like, I don't know. I thought I heard one in the woods over there, but I, I hate to just say that. And people are like, oh, everything's demonic, really? I, I, it sounded like a growl, though. I heard that, too. I don't know if it was the same time as you, but... The thing is, is you know, it's just an animal. It's not of any animal I've ever heard. Yeah, they don't sound like animals, at least not that live around here. I know bears growl. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. cats growl. We don't have that stuff yeah, around here. It's not here. No, not, not, not here in... <laughs> Eastern Shore, not happening. But yeah, just want to check in with you, see what you thought. Yeah. Fortunately, I gotta walk all the way down this driveway by myself. It's kind of regretting this decision now. <laughs> it is, I know. I, I might stop down there for a little bit too and try to do a spirit box or something. Okay, if you, yeah. if you want, I'll turn around and light it up for you. you want. <laughs> oh, you're good. I, I, I probably should, I do want that, but I should probably try to keep it creepy for everybody watching. <laughs> so I'm not a little baby. For the content, for the content, everybody. You guys, make sure you please subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And I'm doing stuff alone tonight, so I guess I'm not really alone. I'm hanging out with John, but <laughs> I was alone for a little bit, okay? But yeah, John, if you need anything from us, let us know, man. No, I know. That's. I think, honestly, I'm really driven to just get to bed right now. I'm so tired and I don't feel good. I think I just want to go to sleep. So I'm like, I'm going to film videos. That's, a, that's like, like you were talking a while ago. I mm -hmm. mean, it's something I feel drained all the time. I could sleep all night and all day. Yeah, and you still just wake up tired. You wake up tired. Right? Yeah, I, mean, I get know, like that sometimes. I'll pop right up and go do stuff. But yeah, late, sometimes you can. Sleep. Yeah, you just you can't catch up. Hopefully you get some rest tonight, man. Oh, I do already. Well, I get rest, but it's just yeah, like, just, watch yourself here. <laughs> watch yourself here. There's a tree branch right above us that looks pretty dead. Dying, so. Yeah. Yeah, see that right there? That looks like it could come down at any time. Yeah, I don't know, man. Be careful. I'm going to start walking back, but um, right. if you hear anything crazy, let me know. Oh, see any, any hooligans or anything, if you need anything, let me know. All right, man. John's got a blanket on there. I'm always so jealous. He's just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Did it say that? Damn it. I said run now. I feel like running. I don't feel like walking through here, but I'm gonna try to get down a little ways and then um, pull out my spirit box and uh, see if we can get any answers in the driveway. I don't know if there's anything here or not. Maybe those deer or wolves or mountain lions or whatever was there will, will come out and play with me. Anybody wants to talk to me? Scare me? Communicate with me. I am walking down the driveway again. Feel free. Do anything but harm me. That's all I ask. Just be friendly, be nice. It just feels different than I did before. Why are you lying to you guys? It's getting foggy here too. Are you guys making it foggy? Gory. Gory? <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean that you guys are going to attack me or something. You should be scared. Oh wow, okay. That's cool. What should I be scared of right now? Can you tell me that? One year ago. It was a little over a year ago that we got the place. That's, that's true. On the roof. 
All right, well, <laughs> sit on the roof. I don't know that there's anything on the roof. There's no roof around me right now. So I'm gonna keep walking. Keep looking around. Hopefully nothing comes after me. Brittany. Brittany. I feel like Brittany. Brittany's a pretty new name, I think. I feel like there's not any Brittany's, like, spirits, you know? Like, do you know any, like, old people named Brittany? Because I don't know any. Right? If y'all know an old person named Brittany, please leave a comment, because I don't know any. I'm not buying it. That's a new person, young person name. Damn. This might be the scariest spot in the whole place, I swear. There's just something about coming back here that I do not love. My spirit app just told me that I should be scared. Is there anything back here I should be scared of? Could y'all show me? Something to be scared of or make a noise? Or just scare me in general. I mean, I'm here. That's why I'm here. That sounded like a voice out there. Somebody out there in the woods? What the f is that thing? Oh, it's a possum. Isn't it weird that I almost like feel better knowing I saw that after I heard it? So if I heard that and I didn't see anything, I think I'd be a lot more freaked out. Damn, how many of them are in there? I'll have to run wild. I'll take my device right here. Put it in the driveway. So it's any, any spirits, entities, anything that's here in the woods with me right now. Put that device down. That device will allow you to communicate with me. Simply yes or no's, or just show me that you're present. If you go over and touch it, just like this, get near it, it'll go off. So I invite anything out here in the woods, good, bad, evil, neutral, whatever you are, please come talk to us. Let us know you're here. Turn your box on a little quieter this time. Get all in the comments, please pay attention, let me know if you hear anything. Is there any spirits that reside here in the woods? Here. Ghouls? What resides out here in the woods? Will you let me know? We do. How many of you are out here? Ten? I see that leaf like drastically fall to the ground. That was weird. you this said I'm a demon is there anything not evil out here anything good no 
1,874. Is that the year you lived out here? Somebody behind me right now? I swear I just heard somebody walking behind me. So don't come back. Y'all, this is wild. There's a lot going on. You're hearing a lot of noises. If you guys hear anything in the spirit box that sounded like it was answering my questions or relevant to what's going on, please let me know in the comments. I'm reading them all, reading as many as I can. I'm trying to listen and answer questions, like I said. Also wonder, do you guys like when I have the camera turned like this better? Do you want to see my ugly mug? Or would you guys rather see like the surroundings around me? I like to kind of mix it up. I don't want to just leave it boring, but I want you guys to be able to hear me too, you know? So working on getting a new microphone in the next couple weeks. Like CJ has, so I can actually be heard. So yeah, your comments matter guys. Please leave comments. Want to ask stuff? I just ask it because I want your genuine feedback. All right, I'm not listening to you. I'm coming back. The f you again? Did you hear that? Said so Chris can blank himself. Is what I just heard. I'm not gonna do that. Sorry to let you down. Oh. Whoa, what the f What the f was that? What the f was that? Is that gone? Who just made that noise? I did. There's a bunch of different things saying, I did, I did. I was not ready at all. You were wrong. No, I'm not ready. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think something... Oh, okay. See, that's weird. I'm gonna stop it for a sec, guys. I don't know who or what is out here right now, but... It's kind of evil. I will explain myself guys in just a minute. I'm gonna start walking back to the car. One, battery's almost dead. Again, already. But two, that was saying some messed up stuff right there. So, I'm good. Made the weirdest, loudest noise. Don't know what it was. Just heard whispers too, what the Y'all, what is out here? I wanna go explore in there sometime. I feel like we're missing out. There's probably some crazy stuff back there. The nice spirits that want to try to scare me out of here one last time. Go ahead and make some loud noises. Break a tree branch, do something. Go ahead and scare me. I'm gonna go back to the car for a minute. Try to explain what's going on here because I don't like it. Hope CJ and Dylan are doing okay too. I know Dylan was in the woods, which is unreal. I wanted to go with him, but I just... Whew. All the plants are all falling over and shit. I hear those footsteps? Somebody following me? This is also some of the weirdest, evilest, most voodoo stuff I've ever seen. Literally a horror movie. I feel like I'm living a horror movie right now. 
That was a weird noise. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. A little uncomfortable. Let me just go back to the car. Try to regroup for a second. Again, if you guys heard anything crazy, saw anything, please let me know. Because I feel like it's been a really weird night so far. Head back to the car quick. That's screaming. Did you hear that? Yeah. Some kind of weird ass screaming. I don't I don't know. Almost like crying. I guess CJ and Dylan are back in the cars already. So I just want to explain to you guys real quick what I heard out there. It sounded like Chris it said Chris can go himself. I blanked out the first part of that word because you guys know what that word is. Can't say it on YouTube when it's, it's messed up, but then I heard that loud ass noise, very loud. I don't know what that was. That scared the actual out of me. Um, and then I kept saying, get ready. You ready? You're ready. Are you ready? I think it was evil. It was trying to get me to do that thing it said. I've had that happen before. That's not the first time I've heard something like that happen. So um, when you get around things like that, I don't think it's good to stay. It's probably good to walk away because whatever's there is bad probably evil in some way shape or form so yeah I'm not here for the evil stuff I'm here for the good spirits just to talk and communicate and everything so just want to fill you on in what I heard really freaked me out and yeah I think it's time to take a little break and we'll get back to it in a little bit all right y'all well, I hope you enjoyed that first uh, part of the video I guess you could say um, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do as far as like one part two parts one long video I might just do one long video I don't know I'm not sure but um, all I can really say right now is I had what you guys saw in the video very unique interesting experience kind of weird I know it wasn't the craziest thing but like I told you guys before film content I film what really happens I upload it try to make it as uncut as possible that video will be straight through like I film on my phone when I change my batteries out and all that I'm trying to make these like I said super raw which in my opinion is like really good when you're doing paranormal stuff it's just keeping it as raw as you can so hope you guys are enjoying the video so far um dylan was in the woods had a very weird experience that i when he got back i could tell he wasn't right he was not saying much his head was down um he mentioned what he had happened i'm gonna leave that for you guys to watch in dylan's video um didn't really get much out of cj but he seemed very uncomfortable too and i think he said something weird happened in his video too I don't know. I'm feeling like crap. I'm under the weather. Um, just people around me are sick. It just is what it is. So we're actually going to go back to the house tonight, get some actual rest. I, again, I need a warm shower. I feel like garbage. So going to get some rest, going to, going to rest up a little bit. And uh, tomorrow we're going to get all the supplies we need to actually camp over, set everything up and stay. I think it'll be really fun to camp out. I've never really camped out at the farm other than like one time so far. I think I could be wrong. Maybe we stayed twice, but um that one time with mandy we had we stayed over that was pretty fun so yeah we're gonna get the fire going tomorrow we got firewood coming tomorrow um it's gonna be a pretty good time it's gonna be a good day so yeah if it's the end of this video which i'm thinking it's probably gonna be appreciate you guys thank you so much yeah just um say what's up in the comments like i always ask you to just i want to see your name just say hi and yeah we're gonna roll out of here get some rest and we're gonna hit it hard tomorrow we're gonna get even crazier i'm gonna go pick up some more equipment that we can film with i actually have a night vision camera that um where did my night vision camera go oh it's on y'all i'm not even lying it's literally right there my night vision camera is right there so it's actually <laughs> see it right there see that thing sit out there but um yeah i went to uh, paracon a few months ago and my friend just actually had one of these night vision cameras um not the most uh, uh, expensive camera, but it's a very nice camera nonetheless, and it does night vision. So I'm gonna bust it out tomorrow and try to use it and get some different film in the dark type of stuff. You know, turn the lights out and get scared. You know, that'll be cool. So next video you guys are gonna watch after this is gonna be even better than this one, I promise you. No matter what, we have better equipment. We have new stuff to use. So I'm excited for that. So love you guys. Catch up with you soon. Have a good night. Take it easy.